a unique opportunity. On October 17, 2022, I received wonderful news. I was among the top 10 artists selected for the Creative Pinellas Emerging Artist Grant of 2023. I became extremely excited about creating an unprecedented project for my first art exhibition in a very impressive gallery. I challenged myself to make bigger and more complex pieces than I was used to. In this process of going beyond, I created the journey to equilibrium. Expressing myself with ceramic hand building. I use clay as my medium of expression. It is a very plastic material with millions of possibilities. It also requires learning, a lot of experimentation, and several mistakes and successes in order to understand all stages of the process. Modeling is done in parts. When the clay is very wet, you need prudence. As it dries, it changes its state and allows for details and finishes. Geometric, straight pieces demand even more attention. If they dry too quickly, they can crack or deform. It is a delicate process. Moving forward when you have to wait can lead to losing everything. This takes weeks, depending on the size and complexity of the art piece. Only when everything is completely dry, which varies depending on the size of the piece, it can go into the kiln. Geometric elements are the inspiration. I used geometric elements as metaphors. This was a unique opportunity to develop new artwork with a visual narrative of synergy between the figurative and the abstract in order to inspire and instigate the observer's thinking. The quest to discover the mysteries of nature is common to all civilizations, and all of them start from the principle that the universe is ordered. The Greeks called this order cosmos. They also invented geometry as a language, a universal law, to explain this orderly universe. If we think that everything that exists in the universe starts with a point, we can say that each one of us is a point. And a moving point creates intersecting lines. So, we can say that these intersections are our experiences. And going further, we can also say that the line of our life is made up of moments and experiences resulting from our choices. Thus, a point is the unit, two points form a line that is the maximum representation of duality, where we can go in two opposite directions. This is a division between two planes. However, if we connect it to another point, we will have a triangle, which is the most elementary form of surface in plane geometry and will return to unity. Geometric patterns are the basis of all shapes found in nature. From the structure of an atom to a flower, everything is made up of patterns and forms that repeat themselves, creating harmony and balance. The idea with that in mind, my initial idea, and the first move, was to create sculptures with serene faces and bodies from disconnected geometric shapes. This metaphorically symbolizes our feelings, experiences, conflicts, and achievements. It is the duality that we experience day by day in our lives, always trying to balance somehow. The intention was to try to convey this idea using only white as an attempt to show the convergence towards serenity and harmony. As I worked on these sculptures, I began to feel the need for color in order to show a little deeper this internal conflict that we have within us. We are continuously trying to make connections according to our dreams and desires. So, the idea for the totems came up. They were my second move and my biggest challenge. I can say that the totems represent a stage of my journey and can symbolize mine, yours, and the journey of any human being. For the white totem, I continued the same idea as the sculptures, using that color and geometric shapes to get organized in many ways, creating a connection towards harmony. At the same time, leaving other geometric shapes still looking for their way. As serene and determined as we may be, we are never completely at peace, but we can be remarkably close to it. According to Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. 
On the other hand, there are moments in our life when we are completely unbalanced, looking for answers, and confused. I try to convey those moments with colors. If in the white totem the connections are more aligned, in the colored one I highlighted doubts and discoveries. Moments that no word is capable of translating. I played a lot with using complementary colors. When one color finds the other, the perception of a new form appears, symbolizing opportunities and discoveries. Now, the totem face is no longer one of calm but of doubt, of questioning, all the time trying to balance. According to Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. And in a third move, the idea for the panels came up the wall sculptures. I continued with complementary colors, interfering with geometric elements as a provocation to our perception. At the end of the day, our perception is added to all our conflicts, doubts, and emotions. It definitely defines our paths, our routes through our choices. So, inspired by these ideas, I created visual poetics with geometric elements. Sometimes connected, other times disconnected, symbolizing our mind always trying to organize itself. Making choices and understanding the world we live in, The journey to equilibrium. We are made of pieces symbolized by geometric blocks that we collect along the way. We are born with nothing and are given love, knowledge, intelligence, strength, and courage. At the same time, we also acquire selfishness, fear, anger, and much more. Our visual perception is a gift. What is understood is different from what is seen and we organize and understand what we see depending on who we are. Thus, each perception is unique and completely particular. Aristotle thought that each person had a different happiness. And, genuine human happiness was based on ideas and values. Sometimes, we manage to make connections and a few pieces find their way to complete themselves, generating states of euphoria and happiness. Other times, our blocks move away, we make mistakes, we feel lost, full of doubts and we think that nothing fits, and this causes us anguish, anxiety, and sadness. Surprisingly, even confused, we may have fun, but not joy. But deep down, there is something we cannot explain and that keeps us going. It is as if we know that all our pieces need to come into harmony, and that is our challenge. No one has the same blocks as each one of us, and no one can arrange them for us. Obstacles happen all the time, but they are nothing more than pieces that we have to organize and balance. We make our choices from the perspective we observe the world. At times we do not see something that is in front of us, while other times we see what does not exist. We may even realize opportunities where everything seems to be equal. We also learn it is not possible to do this all at once. There is a lot to be done and no instructions manual on how to do it. We are discovering along the way and building our life in every moment. It is a continuous balance of everything we are adding to what we want to accomplish. Something enduring over time. And, if at any point in our journey, we manage to have many of our pieces organized and better connected, we will realize that we are getting wiser and more complete. We all have an individual convergence point where things make sense. Our life is a continuous rhythm, frequency, and synchronicity. The most important accomplishment is to find balance at all times. Final Reflection Think for a couple of minutes. Which sculpture do you most identify with at this point in your life journey?